Well, there it is. All cleaned up and put back together. And uh, you know, it's too bad the cabinet has has taken some fairly heavy damage, but uh, generally, a pretty nice looking radio. And uh, I think we should give it a try. How do we do that here? I'm going to turn down some of the lights so we can. Okay. Ready, set, and. And I need to plug it in. Okay, here we go. Dial lights just, it's beautiful. It's really nice. It's coming out pretty good on camera, too. Let's hope the whole thing works now. AM band. Following Michael Buble's It's a Beautiful Day. Yeah, it's Regardless about 750 on the dial. That's pretty good. It's actually 740. Right, that is not coming down like in buckets, but just Sounds a wet great. day. You know? Let's We've try that tone control on the back. After this month of October already with uh, average temps in the afternoon, it far exceeding what it normally yeah, definitely is. Well, that's the big day coming up tomorrow for those of you who like to get out like and it. do some running at the uh, Scotiabank the sound is very nice. And in fact, uh, there's two marathons to get underway. Uh, first of all, it's uh, at 8.45, the start time, uh, for the uh, marathon and half marathon as well. Might mention to you as well that uh, there's a 5K run. Jeep and BMW retailers, there's a lot of volume out there, uh, extra volume because of the rain, so please take your time, uh, give yourself extra Now, on the back of this radio, is an antenna link. Right over here. And uh, it says open link when using external antenna. So the link is open right now. It had to be open for some of the alignment things we were doing. Link is open. And this goes to that funny piece of wire basically that's looped around a little bit. It's just up here. The actual antenna is here. So my question is, is it using this antenna? So first, let's remove the wire antenna. Well, now, let's say we're using the internal. Right now in downtown Toronto, my rain still is 10 degrees. Here's an airport is partly cloudy, today at 8 degrees. We'll have another check of traffic and weather together in less than 10 minutes. Saving your time, 403. Fire crew is now letting a fire west of Edmonton burn itself out. The blaze sparked by a train oh, yeah. derailment west of Edmonton when 13 cars left the tracks overnight. Mm. Four were carrying petroleum crude oil, nine others full of propane. The accident was also prompting at least one explosion. But luckily, there were no injuries. The Katie's Chris McCusker reports at least mm. one organization is asking questions following this latest rail, de rail derailment incident. So, it clearly you have to do exactly what it says. <laughs> As if you want this screw to work, you need to drop that link. Let it let it fall out. So, okay, so let's, uh, let's experiment with that a little bit more. We'll go on short wave here. 
Okay, this should be the shortwave band 9.5 megahertz, and we should find stuff there. Okay, so I'll bet you this link only has to do with AM. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so that solves a mystery that's been going on in my head since I was a little kid. <laughs> Might vary from radio to radio. But in this case, the link should be on. So this antenna is used on AM. And now we're going to bring on my big antenna here. And hopefully we're going to be able to pick up some great shortwave radio. Let's check it out. That's surprising, I'm not getting too much down in the nine region. A little early, you know. It's gotten dark outside, but I'll try 11, 25 meter band. Et si cette pièce tombe sur quelqu'un, elle l'écrasera. Les maîtres de la loi. Et les chefs des presse comprennent que je suis à raconte. So, Dr. Graham, Ava Parker and I were flying into a small village. We could check the dial accuracy here too. So I think I'm at 11 11.850. 12.1. That's quite a ways out, isn't it? So uh, this should be 12.2. That's way out. Well, that'll never do. Hmm. Let's check the other band. This is now 9 megahertz. 
I think it's 9.75. That's close. Okay, well, we're on the uh, 19 meter band now, 15 megahertz. Fifteen point four five. Oh, my gosh. Well, we, we, these are way off, so uh, we, we better fix this. We had better fix this. But as a radio, it's working very, very well. I think that's a little odd as I carted it around and retuned itself. Okay. Um, It is possible to do this. That's what kind of interesting camera angles I can get here. Okay, so you can read the uh, frequency. And uh, you can't see the dial like this. Well, I can. So we're at 11.95. Well, no, no, no. 15.45. So we gotta come down a long ways now. Think just a moment about this. I'm going in the right direction, which is always the challenge on these things. Okay, if I first first which which one of these is it? this one here. If I tune it and pick it up, I'm going in the right direction. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. There it goes. Goes by. Okay, so now it's gone by. I want to make it go by again with this by turning this down. Okay, here we go. Now, where are we? Now we're at 15495, aren't we? Let's take a look. 1545. 1545 volts. Let's keep going. 1545 volts. Getting jumpy.
So we're now listening to a frequency of 15, 4, 5, 7, and the radio is tuned to 15, 4, 5, 0. Fly out at 15, 4, 5. So you can't even distinguish it. It's, it that's, it's not going to get any better than that. Fantastic. Now we need to do the same thing on the next band. Well, the next band was good, if I remember right. We'll check it again. Eleven nine five. Eleven nine five. Okay, so I'm on eleven nine five. Nope, that's a fair bit. So we'll take it down to eleven nine five. So we'll take this down. Now we find it. I'm sure it's got to be this. This one here. Okay, let's find it. This one's a lot harder to turn. Let's find it. It's very hard to turn by hand. I don't know if I got a small enough screwdriver to go in there. And the answer is yes, I do. When it goes by, these are way off. These are way, way off. I think it's 11.995, so that's where we're at now. That's 11.99. 11. Eleven nine five. That's not quite where we are yet. Here we are. And then the last band. Turn to nine point six. There it's, it's just about dead on. So there we are. It's fully aligned.
let's see if we get some good short wave now. Okay, where are we on this? Okay, starting at 15 megahertz, 19 meter band. Okay, next band down. And the uh, last band. And AM band. Five nine, right on, right on. Pointer is right on. Six forty, right on. Very good. I think <laughs> that was supposed to be a short little quick video. Turned out to be another alignment step. But anyway, she's done. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm looking forward to the next radio. See you soon.